Okay, so I've got the cooler in my uh, basement, and I am. Uh, I last night I stayed up all night making this uh, digital thermometer controller. So it's basically the uh, STC100. You, you can look up tutorial videos on how to install that. Um, and then on the back. We've got, um, I installed a computer plug so I can unhook it. I saw someone say that they did that and that seemed like a really good idea. So, um, that way I can just, you know, uh, unplug it easily and move it around if I need to. And then I've installed the plugs back here. Uh, so this is the cooling and this is the heating. I don't really need heating right now. So, um, I wired it all up in this little, this awesome little project box. It's like a perfect size. Everything's really compact in there. Um, I wired it really well and, uh, double checked. So if you do that, make sure you um, do your wiring well. Then the thermometer right now I have running through the front. Um, I'll be changing that later. And now I've got just a bunch of thermometers in here testing. Uh, some d ignore that. That's just so I can prop up the thermometer higher up there. Um, I do have shelving but I need to clean those. So I've got a bunch of thermometers. I'm keeping track of um, the thermometers and the temperatures and uh, then um, I've got the unit to set on in about 0.1 more degree. It should kick on the unit, so we'll hear it in a second. Any second now. Well, that's a good sign that it holds. There it goes. So cooling's activated now and it's basically just gonna run this thing and, and the temperature's gonna drop very quickly. This is a um, commercial refrigerator so it, it cools down pretty pretty quick and um, I have it right now set to 15 degrees Celsius which is roughly um, I believe um, 60 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So right there it kicks off it'll drop down a little bit more just from the I guess residual coolness but um, I've got the thermometers checking and um, they're holding pretty good you know it's, uh, it'll probably dip down to like 59 degrees 59 degrees uh, Fahrenheit yep right there and then the bottom one uh, is usually it dips down to about 60 and then I have it set to only go up to about at most 62 degrees and then it, and then it'll kick back on. So so far so good. Just doing a bunch of testing before I start adding humidity and uh, yeah. So that's where we are right now.